Hi guys and welcome back to It's Andrea and Michelle Sis. So I just wanted to show y'all that's the trash and this is the clutter that was in the cabinet up there when I showed you guys earlier. Um, I took everything down because I didn't want to waste time. But you see I have apple cider in there. I have iced tea in there. I have fish fry, chicken fry. Y'all, I got a lot of stuff in there. My favorite, like marinade for meats, clots. Um, I'm telling my secrets. <laughs> my lemon juice, which ain't even nothing in this bottle. Can you see that? Why am I saving it? And then also, I have some soy sauce ha I haven't used. And then I got some more clots. I bet you're like, dang, girl, all that clots. I got some Kroger's uh, syrup. I got some walmart syrup you guys i just got the walmart syrup so it's not going over baking soda cornstarch behind all this i got some onion uh soup mix which is not that much in this box so why are we saving the boxes you guys can always break your boxes down and find like little containers that don't cost cost much y'all know i'm on a budget her cheap budget um and i got pan pancake mix and cake mix and some of them pancake mix has just been up in that cabinet open. And so I'm just going to go through it all. I'm going to look at these bottles, make sure that um, nothing's in there. It looks a different a type, a type, different type of color or it's, it's old. Or if the box needs to be broken down and put in the trash. I normally break down my boxes, put them in the trash, then put them in recycle bin because we do have one where I stay at. Oh, yeah. By the way, did I tell y'all this is going to be a talking video because... I just want you guys to get a good understanding of uh, this 30 day uh, cleaning uh, challenge that I got going on here. I wish that you guys uh, could go ahead and just join in and just find something. Maybe if you're doing your video, your YouTube, or you're doing your video, just give a shout out to your girl and let, you know, let me know, hey, I see it. Look what I'm doing, sis. I'm cleaning. Um, and yes. But anyways, you guys, I, I definitely um, had changed my little uh, hashtag because I really didn't have a hashtag, but I wanted to call y'all Istria ba Babies. Y'all my Istria Babies. Um, so you guys, I really, really quick a tip for your teas in the box and stuff. I did throw away some of those teas because I really don't use these teas a lot unless I'm cooking a big dinner and I haven't really been up to cooking a big dinner but i saved my mason jars from spaghetti jars um i just washed them out did clean them real good i throw the tops away but i'm gonna start keeping the tops because i really need the top for this one to keep the tea fresh but um i feel like it's gonna still stay fresh anyways um but i put as many as i could in there and then the rest i just kind of dump them because i know that i'm like i say i'm not going to be using these i don't use these often and these are the walmart brand and i'm they're not really as strong as the lipton uh, louisiana tea um as well um so i really don't like i say i really don't use these so don't be like oh she throw those away sis i threw them away for a reason because they are not strong they don't you have to put a lot like like a lot of tea bags in boiling water like it's ridiculous but anyways i'm just going through like all these old seasons and stuff like that just getting rid of stuff as you guys tell before i poured out the vinegar the distilled vinegar that i had um and yes i could have cleaned with it but it's just been up in that cabinet for a while that's cornmeal when i attempt to cook homemade cornbread which came out really good you guys but i've been having that for a while now so um i was looking it up and did you know it was like little bugs that live in like your cornmeal and your flour and stuff like that. So if you keep it open, possibilities, you're going to get bugs in them. So I went ahead and just throw all this stuff out because um, they have been opened. And so I just thought like, hey, I'm going to just get rid of this stuff because nobody got time to be eating bugs. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and it's like cornmeal bugs. That's what it's called. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and just start opening some boxes. This one right here that I'm opening is just the cornstarch. I honestly don't know why I bought cornstarch, you guys. I think it's because 
um what's her name jordan woods i follow her a lot and she was making some chicken wings and she had used cornstarch on it just to make the chicken wings uh, crunchy and i mean it does work but i didn't even get a chance to make it and so what i'm saying is if you have boxes open in your cabinet definitely go ahead and dump those because you don't trust those type of things okay um so next time what i can tell you that I'm going to be doing if I don't have a container to put that extra stuff in or a jar I'm um, definitely going to put it in a Ziploc bag so that it can stay fresh some people say you could put it in the freezer like flour and stuff like that you can put it in the freezer or you can put it in the fridge and it stay fresh like that or stay cold um, I'm going to put it um, probably in my fridge so that it can um, stay fresh I I've never done this so by any means do it at your own you know at your own time um but i'm gonna go ahead and try it and yeah so um i decluttered some of that stuff and now we're gonna i'm just gonna put y'all over here because um so y'all can see me putting everything back into the cabinet um and i know that my seasoning cabinet at the bottom is not all that you guys can tell that i don't have enough like a lot of room for everything to go in my cabinet so i have to you know use what i have and um you guys i'm gonna keep this cabinet clean like i always say i'm gonna keep the club clean yes i'm gonna keep this cab cabinet clean this time like that's why i'm trying to get everything together these whole 30 days um just keep my house together and get everything out that i don't need um like i say my my home is very minimal so if it, I don't need it in my home, it definitely can go. And I definitely won't miss it if I throw it in the trash, you guys. Um, how cute is that shirt? I should have turned around and let y'all see that shirt. But um, yeah, you guys, just you know, cleaning out your cabinets and stuff like that. If you had something that was on your mind to clean and you just haven't got time to clean it, this is what this 30-day cleaning challenge is all about get to it get it done no excuses like i told you in the first on the first day october the first which was yesterday um if you work clean before you go to work if you get off if you go to work early we know you can't clean before you go to work clean after you work if you clean late if you go to work later clean before you go to work because we know that you may nine times out of ten is going to get off of work late so Whatever you have to do to incorporate some type of little cleaning, I'm asking you guys to choose one th one thing in your house to clean. I'm not asking y'all to go crazy up in there. One thing that you really need to clean and you haven't had a chance to clean or haven't had time to clean that you can clean now. You can start cleaning it now. Don't just look at it. Clean it, you know. Um, be responsible and um, make it work for, you know, you and your family. Um, if your kids are, you know, in the home to give them chores and let them help you because just because you're the mama don't mean you got to do everything. If you got an old enough kid that can put a shirt down or can mess up the bathroom, they can clean. <laughs> so anyways, we're coming to the end and this is what it looks like. It looks so much better than what it looked like. You guys, I got all the powdered stuff over here. Um, and I, I got the syrups lined up, my, my chicken and pork chop meat seasonings, and then just some other things, my uh, mother vinegar, and then my lemon juice, soy sauce. But this right here, that's going to be the next thing we're going to clean out. That's going to be the next thing, okay? Um, but anyways, you guys, I want y'all to have a great day. This is some more stuff. And follow me, you guys. Hit that hashtag. That's our new hashtag. It's Drea Babies because y'all are my babies. Subscribe. Turn on all post notifications. I'll see you guys later. Thumbs up.